Hi, I'm Tom Kreitler, host of The Money Pit, and I'm in Piscataway, New Jersey at American Standards Design Center to help plumbers understand what consumers look for when it comes to faucet design. With me to talk about that is Gray Yule. Hi, Gray. Hi, Tom. Now, you are American Standards Design Director. Talk to me about how the design process comes together. How do you know what consumers want? Well, we certainly look at home fashion. We talk to consumers. We start the design process with a lot of sketches. Okay, and then what happens? Well, then, for very quickly, we move to solid models so we see the proportions in the form and how it will work. Now, this model looks pretty industrial. That isn't something that you can show consumers, is no, it? No, when we talk to consumers, we take the foam model and then chrome plate it. Okay. This lets them see what it, ah. it's going to look like and feel and really make a good judgment on it's the It's very light and yet it's very realistic. Correct. So you kind of start from the outside in. How do you get to the actual functional part of the faucet? Once we've defined the design, then engineering takes over and defines all the outer surfaces that okay. will be in brass, all the internal waterways. They define the body, the spout, the handles, and finally we locate the ceramic disc valves. Now that's really the most important part when it comes to performance. How does a ceramic valve work? Well, a ceramic disc valve is made up of two ceramic discs that are near diamond in hardness. Okay. And I have a larger model here to show the hot and cold water come in the larger oval holes. They mix in the chamber in the other disc and then exit throughout so the So as you hole. twist it, you basically change the mix of the water. Correct. Okay. And they're very smooth so that uh, there's no air or water in between when they seal. Now, it would seem to me that the longer that actually works, the more abrasion you get, the tighter it's going to get. Well, actually, over time, they improve. And so you have a valve that will last forever. Interesting. Now, how do you test this? Do you have a, a testing system here? We sure do, and I'd like to show it to you. All right, show it to me. Did I hear that your dad was involved in the original design of that valve? He was. He was on the original team. This is our faucet test rig. Okay. We test every single component for a simulated 40-year life cycle. 40 years. So what exactly are we testing here? Well, on this particular rig, we're testing for the spout. You can see it's being moved back and forth. We want to make sure the seals and the bearing hold up over that time for period. For 40 years. Correct. Now, what about the finish? How do we test for that? Well, in the case of a finish, I have a demo. We have an ever-clean finish on our product. Water beads up and runs off. Oh, That's very neat. So it doesn't stick. No, it's applied at the factory. Water droplets do not dry, it stays cleaner longer, and when you do need to clean it, it's easier. Now, plumbers are the experts on how these faucets break down. What's the one thing that they really complain about the most? That's a good question. Let's go to another demo and I'll show you. All right. A traditional bathroom drain has up to 14 individual parts, and plumbers tell us that's the number one callback when those need adjustment. Now, that makes sense, but how have you changed it? So down here, as you can see, we've replaced all of those parts with automotive cable. Oh, very cool. So it's a uh, obviously easily installed. The cable actually comes pre-adjusted at the factory. Does it ever need adjustment? It never needs adjustment. Wow, terrific. So here's what we've learned. American Standard builds faucets with the style that consumers want. And they're built to last with solid brass construction and ceramic disc valves. And finally, the Everclean permanent surface means those faucets are easy to care for. Bottom line, these are faucets that sell themselves. I'm Tom Kreitler.